Hey developers, today I have a video on seven practical tips for you to become a better web developer. This is from an interview I did with Mike Thomas last week. So I think this will be really helpful for anybody starting out with web development who wants to know just a couple of ideas you probably haven't heard somewhere else. Check out below, I, I put a link to Udemy. They're having a sale this week, $10 courses. I would highly recommend the two courses I put down in the description below. You can get it for ten dollars i also put the promo code that you need to put in so check that out and without any further ado let's check out the interview do you have some tips for people just starting out trying to get into web development sure yeah i wrote a list here i don't know if we'll get through all of them but i was just uh, thinking about this and so the first thing i guess i would say is don't worry so much about tooling don't worry so much about creating the perfect local development environment because i've gone down that road of setting up virtual box and vagrant and all of these things thinking that something as simple as wamp isn't good enough and if i want to be with the cool guys i need to be using all of this and i just ran into a load of windows errors and um, things not being the right version number and don't worry about that in the beginning. Just get the fundamentals down, your HTML, your CSS, and then if you know that you want to be a front-end uh, developer, go into JavaScript. But I'll move on to the next one. Now, this depends on if you want to be a freelancer or if you want to work for an agency. But if you do want to work as a freelancer, it's a good idea to keep up to date with SEO, even though it might not be something that really interests you it definitely is going to be of interest to your clients. If you're working one-on-one -on -one with clients, they're going to ask you about that stuff after you've built the website. They're going to want to know about uh, Google adverts. Should they be doing it? Uh, Google um, pay-per-click advertising, that kind of thing. So keep up to date with that. There's a few good podcasts out there. One is SEO 101. Okay. When you start a project, bookmark it. What do I mean by that? I use Google Chrome. You might use a different browser, but I, I don't know about the others. But on Google Chrome, you can bookmark it. Uh, sorry, you can bookmark a website. So that's all the resources that you need for the project. Maybe you're looking at a website and it inspires you. Bookmark it. Maybe there's a plugin that you need and you're searching for the best WordPress plugin or the best jQuery plugin bookmark them so then because you'll forget if it's a big project you'll think oh there was that amazing jquery plugin that was perfect for the job and then you might waste time trying to find it so that is something that's helped me a lot don't i had this tendency and apparently it's quite common to want to relearn the same thing over and over again and that can happen also when you're switching from course to course. So you might start with Treehouse and then you decide, oh, this, this is no good. Then you go to lynda.com, then you go to, and you end up covering the same stuff again because you're going through the course again from the start. It's okay to move on. Don't worry about having to memorize all the syntax. Again, you wanna understand the fundamentals. So it's okay to move on even though you feel like you don't truly understand everything, don't worry about it. Don't listen to anyone. What do I mean? People might tell you, oh, that's it now. All the jobs are being outsourced to India and the Philippines. Web development's dead. Don't listen to them. If you're passionate about this and it's what gets you out of bed in the morning, do it and do it well believe in yourself there's plenty of work out there yes we may need we may need to pivot because technology is always changing the market is always changing but you got to believe in yourself learn what you're interested in learning if you're if you're not really if you if you don't get turned on by learning agile and scrum maybe someone's told you right you need to you should be learning this if it's not what turns you on and there's something else that you're just itching to get to 
go for the one that you're itching to get to learn that and follow that thread i don't think it does you any good to be learning things for the sake of learning it because you're going to forget most of it anyway because words don't teach life experience teaches you don't truly know agile just by reading about it you're going to learn about it by being involved in a project that uses agile try and have some kind of a boundary between your work life and your free time and this really is i guess for freelancers you don't want to be trying to relax at the end of a long day and an e email pops up it's a client and you've done something wrong you've put the logo on the right side of the page when it should have been the left side of the page and don't have that boundary have a point where it's a time of the day where it's like right okay i've done a good day's work that's my cutoff point now you don't want to be trying to enjoy a movie with your family and things are popping up on your screen telling you how bad a job you did at something apparently thank you for watching as always if you haven't already please click that subscribe button that really helps me and click on that description below look at the udemy ten dollar sale click on that link it's actually affiliate link i do get a little bit of money just uh for disclosure thank you have a great day. Take care.